Factsverse presents Top 10 Richest Beggars in the World Number 1. Simon Wright Simon Wright is a professional beggar. The 37-year-old London man spends at least 8 hours each day and extra time on the weekends standing on the street of London begging for money. He dresses in ratty clothes and he walks with his dog. His area of choice is next to a NatWest cash point that is close to a railway station. Each day, thousands of commuters walk by and give him money. He makes about £50,000 per year. Each night he goes home to his £300,000 flat in Fulham. Begging on the streets of West London pays really well. Number 2. Aisha Aisha was a 100-year-old woman who spent her days panhandling in the town of Jeddah. She was blind, and for years she would sit on the street in tattered clothing begging people for money. People would see this old blind woman on the streets, and they would feel bad. When she put out her tin cup, the people passing by had no problem putting money in trying to help the homeless woman. When she passed away, it turned out that she wasn't as poor as she wanted everyone to think. When she got sick, she gave her will to a friend and asked him not to read it until she had passed. When she died and her will was read, it turned out that she has Saudi Rial 3 million in cash which is the equivalent of 800,000 US dollars. She also had Saudi Rial 1 million worth of jewelry, which is the equivalent of 226,000 dollars US. She even owned four buildings in the Al Balad district of Jeddah. She left all of her assets to the homeless people that she knew from the streets. Number 3. Sambaji Kale Sambaji Kale doesn't have a traditional job. He and his family of four spend their days begging for money. He lives in Mumbai, where apparently begging can be very profitable. After a day of begging, the family is able to bring home 1,000 rupees. The family has managed to save 40,000 rupees in the bank, and they have a few thousand rupees in investment companies. At the end of the day, they retire to either their flat in Virar or one of their two houses in Solapur. Number 4. Krishna Gumar Gite. Krishna Gumar Gite is another beggar from Mumbai. He spends his days begging at his favorite spot at CP Tank near the Charni Road. He dresses in rags so that he can appear very poor. However, he makes more money each day than many of the people who give him money. Each day, he makes about 1500 rupees. When he is done panhandling for the day, he heads home to the flat that he owns in Nala Sopara. Number 5. Erwin Corey Erwin Corey is a 97-year-old man from New York City. For the last 17 years, he has been walking up and down 35th Street in Manhattan panhandling. He hasn't always been a panhandler. For years, he had an acting and comedy career. He has even performed alongside legends including Jackie Gleason and Woody Allen. He lives in a house that is worth $3.5 million. It is located in the East Midtown section of Manhattan. When he is collecting money on the streets, he makes between $100 and $250 a day. What makes him different than the top 10 richest beggars in the world is that he gives the money that he collects to a charity in Cuba that buys medical supplies for children. He invests some of his money in newspapers that he sells on the street. This is the money that he lives on. Number 6. Laksmi Das Laksmi Das spent 44 years begging near Hatibagan, which is a busy road junction in northern Calcutta. She was only 16 years old when she started panhandling. She spent very little of the money that she received to support herself her whole life. When she was 60 years old, she went to the bank and deposited 200 pounds of coins that filled four buckets. Number 7. The Unidentified Man on the Street a person was walking down the street and took a photo of this man and his daughter panhandling. The pair appears dirty and they are in tattered clothes. The young girl is wearing her father's jacket to keep warm. If you look closely at her pocket, you can see a set of keys to a Mercedes. Number 8. Will Anderson Will Anderson is a 43-year-old former stagehand from New York City. He spends his days with his nine-year-old dog, Rizzo, begging for money. His favorite spots are near the Grand Central Terminal and on East 42nd Street between Vanderbilt and Madison Avenue. He sits on the street with his dog and a sign that reads, 
spare change for me and my pooch. According to Anderson, he makes about $200 per hour. That is a pretty good salary for someone who does nothing all day. Number 9. Gary Thompson Gary Thompson is originally from Texas, but he now lives in Lexington, Kentucky. He gets around in a wheelchair, which he says he needs because he has difficulty walking. He even has trouble using his hands. What most people don't know is that he pretends to be mentally and physically handicapped so that he can earn money panhandling. He says that he makes up to $100,000 each year begging for money on the streets. Number 10. Masu Masu is a beggar from India. Each morning he takes an auto rickshaw to his favorite begging spot. When he gets there, he changes his clothes and spends 8 to 10 hours a day begging for money before heading back home. He says that he makes 1,500 rupees and he is a millionaire. Most people who give him money while he is begging have no idea that his net worth is higher than theirs. He says that panhandling requires long days, but it is worth it. Subscribe for more.